Welcome back, guys, for more Surviving Mars, Martian Express. Okay, so what are we going to do in this episode? Well, we're going to be working on a mega project. Yes, you're going to hear those words. So I had this idea. Uh, it's going to be down here, and it's going to be the central resi residential area, and also it's going to be the distribution hub for shipping stuff out to all of our areas. Um, this is obviously the science area. We've got the science residential domes and the, the research area up here. Uh, down here is going to be the ag domes. It's, this, all the agriculture is going to be going on down here. Up here, we're going to have uh, factories. And again, so we'll have a, um, a residential area and people will commute to the ag domes. In fact, I want the trains to like run path, like through the ag domes. It'd be very cool if we could do that. And then what else am I going to do? Um, up here, yeah, factories. And uh, down here, I'm thinking uh, tourism. And I also want a power production area as well. Um, or there may be several dotted about. We will see. Uh, we've just done extractor amplification. Let's have a look at the research, actually. Uh, we've just done that. Well, we're now doing safe transport. Then we're going to get onto two things which are critical. Conservation landscaping. Raising the ground via landscaping costs less waste rock. That's going to be vital, and that should give you a clue to something that I'm going to do. And then topology AI. Drones work faster on landscaping projects. Oh, yeah. Then we're going to do resilient architecture. Out-of-dome buildings require maintenance. Less option, less, less often. And I probably should have done that earlier, but hey, it is what it is. Um, am I going to take that offer? No, I'm not. I think that was this one. So we'll re -queue that. Um, oh, maybe it was this one. Maybe, oh, no, that one's in progress. I accepted that one. Okay, so how are we doing? Uh, power. Power is kind of okay on. I've put in some more solar up here. Um, yeah, we've got, let's see, we've got 660 stored power. Uh, we really could do with some more power, but we're kind of, we're kind of just about sort of holding on um sanity breakdown witness me after suffering a sanity breakdown the victim ran to the hatch of the dome quickly put on a spacesuit hijacked her over show me the enemy important joe and i'll bring it fury okay whatever clearly data race wants you to name a target Pff, okay uh listen to my voice calm down no need for violence words that i've issued to picture perfect on many occasions uh here we go uh why won't you look at me important joe why you why do you deny me the poor soul sits quietly sobbing uh data race makes no no attempts to resist okay good data race has been saved hooray okay good news uh 22 yeah we'll take that one 22 polymers safe transport has been done it's now easier to repair the tracks and it's safer for the colonists uh 75 food yeah we'll take that accept cool uh, we are, we've got 127 power. The The reason, I think the reason that the power has jumped up was this top row uh, of wind turbines. Uh, oh no, I didn't, yeah, no, yeah, I did. I missed that one, apparently. Upgrade to polymer blades. Uh, I upgraded this top row to polymer blades, which is bringing us in uh, a bit more power, which is, uh, which is nice. Cool. What else? What else have I done? Uh, water. We're, we're down 16 at the moment, but we've got an 11 leak. So we're actually down five on normal production. Um, I've, I've put in a water extractor up there, which hopefully will get uh, built reasonably quickly. What are we waiting on? A couple of machine parts and some concrete. Okay, fine. I'm sure that'll happen. And I put in another one down here. Same thing. We're waiting on a bit of concrete to get that one done. Uh, we've done... Uh, extract to amplify so we can now amplify these takes 10 extra power uh, upgrade cost two polymers well let's get that done and let's get that one done increase this production by 25 percent not huge but you know we are we're only five short and we've got 1900 stored water so i don't think it's too much of a problem okay um let's um Let's head underground for a sec. Well, we've got this no. vision of the future. Oh, this is this is our mystery. Aliens did not build the pyramids. Human beings built the pyramids with ingenuity and hard work. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay, fine. Uh, Reed Goddenberry, a play on uh, Gene Roddenberry, of course, the uh, creator of Star Trek, for those of you who don't know. I'm sure 99% of you know. Uh, inspiring. Yes. Okay, that's just the, that's the start of the mystery. He's addressed the UN. I don't know what he said. If you want to, if you want to pause it and read it, if you if you're interested. Uh, what are we going to do? 
I tell you what, let's um, let's pop underground for a second. And then we're going to come back and we're going to start on on our uh, big project, the Cave of Wonders, the Last Crystal. Okay, we've decided we have to decide between increasing the benefits the Cave of Wonder offers our colonists or gaining access to additional riches. Excavate just the crystal cluster boosts the Cave of Wonders Vista morale. Uh, excavate the underlying deposits reveal new deposits near the Cave of Wonders. I think we'll have a boost to the Vista. Yeah, do it. A connected network of tunnel tunnels and caverns. Uh, uh, okay, blah, blah, blah. Further scans, further scans. We must venture forth. Okay, fine. Uh, we've equipped the RC vehicles with specialised scanning equipment. Okay, cool. Good. Oh, we've... And they've found a new anomaly. Good. Well, well, you get on with that then. <laughs> Good for you. How long is that going to take? It's going to take a while. Let's go back. Um, let's go back upstairs. Um, what was that meteor showering coming? We've got a meteor storm coming in, in twenty-three hours. Grudge. Okay, uh, Commander. We know who our sabotage. Oh, do you remember the sabotage thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we know who it was. It was China. Of course, it was. Um, Cost five, half a billion. We can't let this go unpunished. Set aside funds. Wait for the perfect opportunity. Should the opportunity ever arise, and it may not, you may be able to exact revenge. Oh, oh, who doesn't like a bit of revenge now and then? Go on, we'll do that. <laughs> yeah, go on. I should, probably shouldn't, but I'm going to. Yes, we want our revenge for their tampering. How dare they? Right, let's uh, let's get on. How long we got left on this storm? We got a day left on this storm. Okay, fine. Uh, this tower here that I've pop popped in as a placeholder, this marks the, send the very center of the map. This um, this little centerpiece is going to be so big. See, okay, so you see this this sector. This is going to cover at least four sectors. Now, there's 100 sectors, so this is like 4% of the map this is going to cover. It's going to be big. Uh, we are going to come over here. I have got put in a couple of uh, large dumping sites down here, and I've got one of the transport rovers bringing waste rock down here because we're going to need a ton of it. We are going to go over here. We are going to crank this up to max. Right, we're going to do some flattening, and we are going to flatten from there uh, out to about there, Then we'll go... Uh, come on up a bit and uh, back across there and then come down here a bit and across a bit more and okay that's as far as I can go okay there and back across there that that's going to be our first area the thing is I wanted to show you look at this 1155 uh, waste rock that would take currently uh, we are currently working on conservation landscaping. This is going to uh, essentially halve the cost of this. So we will uh, we will get rid of that and we'll put it back in once we get that uh, tech researched. Uh, I've got a an RC commander ready with extra drones to come up here and uh, and begin work. Come up. No, it's loading up. A meteor storm in two hours. God, I hope that isn't going to be somewhere inconvenient. Let's see. Uh, how are we doing? Um, still a little bit. Let's go back down, see if we've done that anomaly. Let's have a look. Uh, anomaly analysed. Cool. Let's zoom out a bit. Uh, anomaly analysed. Our rover has stumbled across a slew of resources. Upon closer inspection, they seem to have originated from the Martian service. Let's not look a gift horse in the mouth. Indeed. What did we get? What did we get? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, we've got like a whole pile of 20, 21 polymers. 37, well, it was more than 37 because we, they've already nicked a, a couple. So I think it was about 39. And a pile of food as well. Well, that is very, very handy. Okay. So let's... Um, okay. Uh, what do I want underground? I want a minimum of... Let's say 10 of each. 10 machine parts, 10 electronics. Um, but the only way I'm going to get this stuff up and down, because there's, there's already... Like, this is a really silly system. It really is. Because um, it's not... I was, I, like, I assumed that, like, like, does it just do, like, the immediate area? No, it's the entire map. So nothing ever gets moved via that. So, yeah. Yeah. 
Although it is moving some electronics up by, by the look. Is it moving some electronics? Yeah, I think it's moving some electronics up there. I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. Uh, we're not going to worry too much about the, uh, the the down here. We're going to worry about the up here. Oh, we have got hypothermia going on. Where? Where? See? What? Now, why is that the case? We are down 162, but we've got 887 stored power. So, oh, hang on. Have we had a meteor impact or something? Where is the meteor storm? Let's have a look. Where's the meteor storm? Okay, the meteor storm's over here. So it's not meteors. Oh, and the power's back now. What the hell was that about? Okay, well, I'm not going to worry about it overly, I guess. You know what? I never set this to be turkeys. That should be turkeys, and that should be turkeys as well. Let's get that done. Right, we've done the conservation landscaping. Hooray! And there was much rejoicing. We're going to do the topology AI to speed up landscaping. Uh, what else do I want to do? Oh, you know what? I, I do want to get the prefab rehab done. Um, we'll definitely do the resilient architecture next. There was something else I wanted to do. I can't remember what it was now. What was it? Oh, you know what? Mars Nouveau. Yeah, reduce building costs in metals and concrete. Yeah, let's do that. And then maybe we'll do the prefab rehab. Yeah, prefab refab, it's it's actually called. How are we doing over here? Yeah, we're doing okay. Doing okay. We're about to get some polymers, so that should get these batteries fixed. Yeah, look at that stored power. Stored power's um, coming up nicely, so hopefully it's all good. How are we doing for metals down here? Well, uh, we've got like 110 metals there. I'll, I'll probably put the, the rest of those in fairly soon. Right, now let's get on with this project. Okay, let's come over here. Uh, let's get this put back in again. So let's start about there. Bring you across. About there. Go up a bit. Back across. And then down and across. And down as far as we can go, probably. And back across. How far can I go? About there. Okay. Boom. Now, half, half the cost. Awesome. Right, you come over here and start building this. Uh, about there should do. Our transport is coming down and loading. So how much have we got? We've got like 250 or so. Awesome. We've got 20 pot. Yeah, that's not enough. Oh, we've got a, a meter coming. Oh, that's not a problem over there. I don't know what it, it... I don't know why it highlights this. I, I mean, obviously, it's because... It's near the uh, tunnel entrance, which is there. Which I, I think it classes that as one of your buildings, which is why it notifies you when it's over there. Anyway, uh, that's not really very good either. Let's see if we can't queue up some uh, some better offers. So we want food there, and we want polymers there, please. Okay, good. Let's go up here, and we'll get another polymers offer queued up there. Okay, cool. 22, yeah, that'll take. Accept. 22 is kind of my baseline there are earth -sick we've got an earth sick colonist who now by the way thank you to the people that told me that um this building was turned off that was probably why they, they wouldn't move so thank you for that uh we will accept that offer that's nice these rockets let's get them sent back to earth you can go uh you can go that's going to be like one and a half billion that'll be nice and then we'll do a resupply cargo rocket what do i want to bring in um, we'll grab like an extra 10 drones because I want to keep the drones coming in. Uh, we'll start manufacturing our own soon. And then the rest in electronics, I would think. 85 electronics. Launch. How are we? We're at 84, 84 at the moment, so that, that's not too bad. We've got another half a billion. That's fine. Don't care about you. Uh, make your store. Okay, good. A bit low on polymers, but we've got two lots of polymers coming in, so that should all be good. And we do have some, some polymers down here. Cool. All right. How are we doing? Okay. Well, we're off and running. Although there's like a bunch of drones. Oh, they're queuing up to recharge their batteries. Oh, there's another. Um, there's another tech that I should do if I can. Uh, probably sooner rather than later. And that's uh, increasing the batteries on the drone. Uh, is it that one? It is that one. Drone battery capacity increased by fifty percent. It's only three thousand. Let's get that done quickly. What are we up to now? We're up to like 4.1. Now, I could um, radically increase that, but I've come across... 
Well, not like I mean, yes, it is an issue, but it's not kind of like actually like an issue issue. It's kind of more how things work. I've realised that this building, this station, um, has room for twenty four passengers to queue up to catch the trains. Right. What this means is that when you have a shift change, uh, like all of these guys are going to want to either go home or come to work, right? And then the next shift changes. These guys are going to go home. These guys are going to come to work. Uh, you can only have 24 people decide to catch the train at the same time. If this queue is full, and it just it's like instant, it's like they all quit the shift at the same time they come over here this is full any extra decide shall we wait for the next train or, or maybe wait for this to um to calm down a bit no they walk across the freaking map and they die of asphyxiation i uh, will take this which means that um, you have to be very careful about how many people you've got working on it on on the shifts so currently we have eight there, nine, ten, eleven, uh, fourteen, fourteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, which means I could have three more people. Um, so yeah, bit of an issue because I want to put in another uh, another Hawking Institute. What it would mean is I would have to have more than one station here. To, to cope with it uh kind of is what it is we are going to go we're going to put the um the network node in i think because that has three people per shift which would be our 24 so hopefully that'll work fine uh what am i looking for spires dime spires network node now this is the old network node there is a new one which is very sexy the thing is it's got this extra bit um can, 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 can i show you show you on maybe another dome where we've actually got a bit of room or something Come down here um yeah see look it's got an extra bit oh good lord a deluded old billionaire what the hell is this oh this is uh, this is gene this is um gene roddenberry okay blah 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 my beyond in earth initiative is pushing several projects simultaneously all at bringing peace and prosperity one of the projects is Currently in a ditch, the planning of a moon base to mine hydrogen-3 called Aldrin Base. In fact, Beyond Earth Initiative Tech Unlocked, research the tech to help Aldrin Base. Okay, fine. Uh, well, I was showing you this network node, wasn't I? Yeah, let's do that. So, yeah, so that's the old one. And you see how it's just six hexes, but that has an extra one. So we can't do that in the dome that we're in currently. It's just a blooming shame, but hey, it is what it is. So let's... Um, throw that in there we'll get that built shouldn't take shouldn't take too long right uh we'll, we'll look at this 90 foot yeah we'll take that thank you that was very generous of you three colonists are earth sick who are they middle-aged scientist what's up with you no available service building had an unprepared meal no. oh you know it's because oh, okay hang on a second i need to change this hmm yeah, I need to change this. Uh, filters. I've got the age group. I need to change those filters so that scientists scientists are, trying, are living here currently. Uh, no, they can't live here. Apply that. Only seniors and children. I have... Do you know what? I actually checked the filters on these domes before this episode started to make sure that they were set correctly, which they are. But I didn't check this one. Bonehead. Suicide. No! Lunar Mercury couldn't take it anymore. We've had our first suicide. Okay, well. Don't, don't say anything. <laughs> don't say anything, Sky, for heaven's sake. You'll get into trouble. We've got more Earth sick. Con Look at this lot. Where, what are you lot doing? What? Okay, they've decided to go. Was it like in the middle of a shift change or something? Well, they've just decided to just go over there on foot. I'm sure this will end well for them. Where are they? I lost, I lost track of them. Where are they? Oh, they... Did you, did you say where they went? I didn't say where they went. Okay. Whatever. 
Well, they, I guess they made it because they would have been dead by now otherwise. Okay, cool. Good. Let's go down here. How are we doing? Oh, look at this. We're almost done. Oh, no, three of them died. <laughs> How far did they get? Where's... Okay, there's one. There's one. And there's one. So close and yet so far. Okay, it is what it is. I'm not going to worry about it too much. The colony is growing, so it's fine. A, a few losses here or there we, we can we can cope with. Okay, so where are we? We are at 90%. We've got a little bit left. Cool. So um, what I'm going to do at this point, guys, is once once this is once this is done, I'm going to start laying it out and kind of measuring up. It, 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 this is going to have to be very precise. You'll see why. So I'll probably have to. Ex I've, I'm definitely going to have to fill in this bit, and I'm, I'm pretty sure I've got to extend it down a little bit, uh, probably along a little bit, pretty much up to that sensor down as far as this sensor and across as far as this one and this one it's going to be this whole area in between these four sensors uh and then the shaping and stuff i will bring you in um and give you kind of periodic updates but it's it's gonna take it's gonna take a while we still need some more uh, waste rock down here how are we doing for food we're really great on food let's bring some more in why not you can't have too much food can you really Okay, cool. Um, that's not a very good offer. We'll bring in some more polymers. Yeah, and we'll try and get a decent offer over here as well. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so you've um, you've seen this. Let me let me get on with it a bit, and I'll, I'll come back when I've got something more to show you. Okay, we've just got the next part of the mystery beyond Earth trade rockets. Uh, the Beyond Earth Initiative needs your help, blah, blah, blah. A rocket requesting supplies for the Rubicon Station mega project is headed towards Mars. See what resources... Oh, they're just going to steal resources from us. Okay, where are we? Um, as, well, you can't see in this light very well. But I have cleared cleared all of this area. And I'm, I'm basically squaring this up now to... Uh, to get all of the building area that we need and then we can start um digging a trench in here and uh and and like squaring and, and not just squaring it up but i'm gonna i'm gonna kind of put some kind of design into this uh if i possibly can hey well you can probably see it a little bit better now okay so it's it's this area here that we're uh, that we're doing how are we getting on with this we need Okay, we need, oh, we need rock. Are you, are you not in range? Yeah, you are in range. Oh, you're not quite in range. Of, okay, you. Um, okay, let's do load resource, waste rock, and unload it there. <laughs> yes, come back, quick. Man, it takes so long. Uh, you will do that. Get some more polymers. Um, I've automated this uh, this rocket, the Antares One, so it's just it's just loading up and shipping backwards and forwards. We've got 2.2 billion. Uh, we'll take that uh, polymer off. It's a little bit low, but go on, we'll take it this time. How are we doing over here? Okay, it's moving the stuff over, and now we're in range, so we can get this done. I don't think we need too much. No, leveling the ground. Come on, guys, get it done. And that's it done. Hooray. Okay. So, uh, last corner to do. Okay. What are we gonna what are we gonna have up here? We're gonna have in the center, this area that I've marked, is gonna be the space elevator, which is gonna sit in there like that. And this is gonna be the transporter well the distribution hub although i think we're going to be um i think we're going to be self-sufficient so i don't think it's going to get used but we'll see finders keepers i mean it will get used initially but eventually finders keepers get the goods get uh two supply pods and lose standing with china contact the rival colony and give them control of the 
of supply pods, gain 25 standing with China. Um, we're doing a lot of trading with China right now. So, and like two supply pods, really. Now, nah, we'll give it back to them. It's fine. There you go. You can have them back. Okay, so China, 67, 69 food, snigger. Uh, yeah, go on, we'll, we'll do that. That's fine. Cool. Right, how are we doing over here? Are we in range? Yes, we're in range. Let's let's go around here and see if we can't see this. Okay. Oh, I missed a bit. I missed a bit there. I'll have to I'll have to do, flatten that after. And there it was done. Hooray! Uh, let's accept that offer. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, we have got a bit of a square area. Okay. Now it's time to uh, start laying out our buildings. So this is how it's going to work. We are going to have um, a little bit of space here, and then there's going to be a ramp down into a trench, which is going to run out here. So the first thing I've got to do is decide like where, where the ramp is going to start. So I guess... I'm, I'm thinking give myself one, two, three, four, five. I'm thinking giving myself like 10 hexes there. So that means I need to do the same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, cool. Um, so the ramp is going to start there. So, oh, the, hmm. I'm going to, I'm going to have to mark this out somehow. So if I put, if I put five dots going on each side, uh, that's four and that's five. Now, the the smallest ramp that we can have is, let's see, shrink you right down. That is the smallest ramp that we can have. So that's, okay, that's, so that's leaving three on each side. Okay, so... We get rid of that one, get rid of that one, that one, and that one. And then we can take this back as well, delete. And probably go back a bit further. Fine. That means that now I, I know where my ramp should start. So hopefully we can get a nice, uh, a nice sharp edge going down into a trench. Hurrah. Now, okay, uh, how how do I approach? Okay, so what's, okay, we're going to have a trench down there. There's going to be a large station. In fact, there's going to be two large stations, and the stations are going to be down in the trench, uh, and they're going to be like that, most probably. And that is, and we're going to have tracks coming out like that and like that and like that and like that so we'll have um, four tracks coming out two will go down to the ag domes two will go up to the science and obviously they will they'll go up through here and come down into these two uh, uh, platforms and then there's going to be the same setup on the other side, which is going to go up to the manufacturing and down to the tourism. Okay, that's that. Uh, right, so what we need is to have domes that can be accessed by these. So um, we are level with that third dot. Okay, cool. What we're going to use is diamond domes. So domes diamond domes um now what i'm gonna have to do is figure out the placement of these so if uh if that's where the ramp starts the ramp is going to extend a, like a certain distance i'm thinking probably down to about there so that means the diamond dome is gonna have to go 
Um, probably somewhere about here. So, if that's level with that, we've got to be in one further than that. So I'm thinking probably that. Let's get let's get you out of the way, so that we can uh, we can actually actually place this. That would be that would be kind of handy. Right, flip you around that way. Pause. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking kind of sort of somewhere about there, maybe. Back a little bit. So, so let's say, let's say if I put it there, then it's within range of the two stations. We will have another dome on the other side, obviously, which will go, uh, flip you around. So the tip is level with that, isn't it? And range wise, we are just inside there, aren't we? So, uh, oh no, 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 no! It's the it's the outside one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're to there, and we are oh, with the end one. So there. Is that right? That looks right. That looks right. So that is the first hex in. And that uh, is the first exit. Yes, okay, good. Good, good, good. <laughs> okay. Right. Having placed those, we then want uh, another dome. Now, I think I'm going to go... I could go, I could go with a different dome, but I th I'm thinking to go with um, another diamond dome, which will go... In fact, would go pretty much there. I could bring it out one for... Oh, no, I can't. Um like there and then obviously there'd be the corresponding one on this side but we actually don't have enough room on this side okay cool that's why you have to measure these things out and then there's going to be uh, another two stations on this side and another two domes i might be able to move this back in a little bit yeah i can probably move this back a few which would help us uh, I just wonder if I moved it back to where that line is or at least a bit closer so let's have a look diamond diamond flip you around I'm thinking probably you know what let's try let's try having it there so it would be actually there so yeah let's yeah that looks about right get rid of that and another diamond dome goes in. Flip you around. That's giving us what? Uh, one, two in between. Okay, fine. Cool. Okay, what I'm going to have to do is uh, is now kind of measure this out uh, and lay it in, probably like with. Um, with uh, with cables and stuff and then start to work on the edges but let's do let's do this trench let's well let's try and do this trench shall we yeah that's, that sounds like a plan to go uh this is my marker for the central trench so let's do that okay so that is just up to there Okay, that that should work. Should we try it? Let's try it. Look at the terrain thinking. That's <laughs> just so cool. And come on, all the way down till it gets flat. Cool. Right. Having got that in there, now I want very steep sides on this. I want this to be very, very angular. So, yeah, we'll we'll shrink that down. And then I can run this up here again and again. So we want to come back to that point there. And we do it. And we're going to be repeating that over and over again until we get the nice sharp side. Well until we get it like flat on the bottom but we're also and of course it would go blooming dark at that point wouldn't it 
<laughs> oh, the joy, the joy of being a YouTuber. Right, let's, uh, what we're going to do is on the top, um, we're also going to do the same. And what we want is, is to be at the point where it doesn't go down the side like that. So that, that's fine there. And then we just run it all the way up to there. Boom. And you start to sharpen up the edges. Let's keep going. And you know what? Let put, we can pause it so that we can keep the daylight. So keep going. And you just keep doing it. And hopefully the sides get sharper and sharper and sharper. So obviously there's gonna be there's gonna be a lot of this kind of stuff going on. Yeah, nice. And we keep doing the same thing on the bottom as well. And hopefully, yeah, we start to get nice sharp sides. Now we can increase the sharpness of those sides even more uh, by using buildings like, for example, the I go into infrastructure like the landing pad and putting these buildings along the side um, and that will sharpen it up even more but i need to go over this again and again and again and again to uh, to get this uh, to get this done so i think what i will do is uh, we'll leave it there for this episode because i think you get the idea uh just just to make sure you get the idea. so the train station is going to be down here like this uh, we'll have a ramp going down there. So, train station in there. Cool. Two train stations, in fact, with the tracks going out. And the domes up here. And then people will come in and they'll run up the ramp and they'll run round into the dome. The, the first dome is going to be the, the residence. That's where they live. It's just going to be housing. And then the second dome that they can access through a passage will be all their services. That's the way it's going to work. And each train station can access two domes. It's going to be the same on the other side. So we're going to have a total of uh, eight domes going on. And yeah, I think you get the idea. Guys, <laughs> we're going to leave it there for now. As you can see, I've got my work cut out for me. Um, if you've got an opinion on how you want to see the next episode, do you want do you, like do you want to see everything that I do? I'm sure some of you will. Uh, I think I'm probably it's probably going to be like an edited highlights. I mean, possibly a time lapse, but that's actually quite difficult. But if you've got an opinion, let me know in the comments. I will catch you for the next next one. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this idea. Oh, this is all going to be textured, by the way, uh, and I'm going to try and texture these sides which is uh, in a di like an indifferent way. Uh, but yeah, you'll see it when I do it. All right, guys, catch you for the next one. Peace out.